The Hebrew Bible or Old Testament makes reference to various pharaohs, Pereo Pao, of Egypt. These include unnamed pharaohs in the accounts of the Israelite settlement in Egypt, the subsequent oppression of the Israelites, and during the period of the Exodus, as well as a number of later rulers. <laughs> Historical pharaohs, Tahaka, Necho and Apres, Hophra. 2 Kings chapter 19 verse 9 and Isaiah chapter 37 verse 9 mention a Terhaka, king of Ethiopia Cush, who the Bible says waged war against Sennacherib during the reign of King Hezekiah of Judah. Some scholars have identified him as the pharaoh Tahaka. The events in the biblical account are believed to have taken place in 701 BC, whereas Tahaka came to the throne some ten years later. A number of explanations have been proposed, one being that the title of king in the biblical text refers to his future royal title, when at the time of this account he was likely only a military commander. Necho II is most likely the pharaoh mentioned in several books of the Bible. Jeremiah chapter 44 verse 30 mentions his successor Apres or Hophra 589 to 570 BC. Topic: <laughs> Conjectural pharaohs, Shishak and So. 1 Kings chapter 11 verse 40 and 2 Chronicles chapter 12 verse 2 SQQ. Tell of an invasion of Israel by Shishak, and a subsequent raid of Jerusalem and the Temple of Solomon. He is generally identified with Shashank I Point 2 Kings chapter 17 verse 4 says that King Hoshe sent letters to So, King of Egypt. No pharaoh of this name is known for the time of Hoshe about 730 BC, during which Egypt had three dynasties ruling contemporaneously, 22nd at Tanis, 23rd at Leontopolis, and 24th at Se. Nevertheless, this ruler is commonly identified with Osorkhan IV BC who ruled from Tanis, though it is possible that the biblical writer has mistaken the king with his city and equated so with Se, at this time ruled by Tefnacht. Unidentified pharaohs Topic. Pharaohs in the Book of Genesis The passages Genesis chapter 12 verses 10-20 narrate how Abraham moves to Egypt to escape a period of famine in Canaan. The unnamed pharaoh, through his princes, hears of the beauty of Abraham's wife Sarah who is summoned to meet him. Because of her, Abraham rises in the Pharaoh's favor and acquires livestock and servants. After discovering Sarah's true relationship to Abraham as a result of plagues sent by Yahweh, the Pharaoh chooses not to take her as his own wife. He releases her and Abraham and orders them to take their goods and to leave Egypt. The last chapters of the book of Genesis, Genesis chapters 37 to 50, tell how Joseph, son of Jacob, Israel, is first sold by his brothers into Egyptian slavery but is promoted by the unnamed Pharaoh to vizier of Egypt and is given permission to bring his father, his brothers, and their families into Egypt to live in the land of Goshen, Eastern Nile Delta around modern Fakus. Topic: <laughs> Pharaohs in the book of Exodus. The Bible tells how the Israelites are enslaved in Egypt and eventually escape under the leadership of Moses. At least two pharaohs are involved, the Pharaoh of the Oppression, who enslaves the Israelites, and the Pharaoh of the Exodus, during whose rule the Israelites escape. The biblical story does not name or give enough information to identify the period in which the events are set. These are some candidates put forward for the role of Pharaoh of the Exodus. Didumos II died c. 1690 BC, David Rolls 1995 A Test of Time revised Egyptian history by shortening the Third Intermediate Period of Egypt by almost 300 years. As a by result the synchronisms with the biblical narrative have changed, making the Second Intermediate Period King Dedumos II the Pharaoh of the Exodus. Rolls' theory has failed to find support among scholars in his field. Amos I BC, most ancient writers considered Amos I to be the pharaoh of the Exodus. Thutmose II or to BC. Alfred Edersheim proposes in his Old Testament Bible History 
that Thutmose II is best qualified to be the pharaoh of Exodus based on the fact that he had a brief, prosperous reign and then a sudden collapse with no son to succeed him. His widow Hatshepsut then became first regent for Thutmose III then pharaoh in her own right. Edersheim states that Thutmose II is the only pharaoh's mummy to display cysts, possible evidence of plagues which spread through the Egyptian and Hittite empires at that time. Amenhotep II Shea suggested that there were two Amenhotep IIs. The first one died in the Sea of Reeds, after which his brother took the same title. Akhenaten Sigmund Freud in his book Moses and Monotheism argued that Moses had been an Atenist priest forced to leave Egypt with his followers after Akhenaten's death. Ramesses II c. 1279 BC, also known as Ramesses the Great, he is the most commonly imagined figure in popular culture most widely via the 1956 film The Ten Commandments, being one of the most long-standing rulers at the height of Egyptian power, but, as with all other pharaohs, there is no documentary or archaeological evidence that he chased any slaves fleeing Egypt. Ramesses II's late 13th century BC Stella in Beth Shan mentions two conquered peoples who came to make obeisance to him in his city of Ramesses or Pi Ramesses but mentions neither the building of the city nor, as some have written, the Israelites or Hapiru. Additionally, the historical Pithom was built in the 7th century BC, during the Sate period. Mernepta c. 1213-1203 BC, Isaac Asimov in his Guide to the Bible makes a case for him to be the pharaoh of the Exodus. Setnacht c. 1189-1186 BC, Igor P. Lipovsky makes a case for him to be the pharaoh of the Exodus. Topic. Pharaohs in the Books of Kings In 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 1, it is narrated that to seal an alliance, the pharaoh of Egypt gave a daughter in marriage to Solomon. The same ruler later captured the city of Gezer and gave it to Solomon as well 1 Kings chapter 9 verse 16. No name is given for the pharaoh, and some hypotheses have been proposed. Siamun c. 986-967 BC, is the most commonly proposed candidate for this role. Susens II c. 967-943 BC, the Catholic Encyclopedia sees him as the best candidate. Shashank I c. 943-922 BC, Edward Lipinski dated the destruction of Gezer to the late 10th century rather than earlier, and suggested that its conqueror was Shashank I of the 22nd dynasty. See also Apuwar Papyrus New Chronology Role. Shifra Thrasyllus of Mendes Moses in Islam Pharaoh's daughter Wife of Solomon References Bibliography Bennett, Chris Temporal Fugues. Journal of Ancient and Medieval Studies 13. Patterson, Richard D. 2003. The Divided Monarchy, Sources, Approaches, and Historicity. In Grisanti, Michael A., Howard, David M. Giving the Sense, Understanding and Using Old Testament Historical Texts. Kregel. ISBN 978-0-8254-2892-0. Roll, David. 1995. A Test of Time. Arrow. ISBN 0 09 941656 5. Shea, W. H. 1996. Exodus. Date of the. In Bromiley, Jeffrey W. The International Standard Bible Encyclopedia, E. J. Eerdmans. ISBN 978 0 8028 3782 0.